Hey guys, I'm so excited today. My four month old nursed last night for the first time in six weeks. It's been an exhausting six weeks. Um, she quit nursing because I don't know why, maybe just a strike. I think it was like torticollis, colic, reflux, um, possible upper lip tie, but now that she's nursing, I don't know. I don't really think that was ever an issue. But I just really struggled, and she nursed, so I'm like super, super excited. Um, and I'm just really grateful that I get to stay home with my kids and be able to nurse her, because I don't know how. I mean, I had to pump for six weeks, day and night. I set my alarm and everything. It's really exhausting. I don't know how I would have been able to do all this, um, having to go back to work. So I'm just grateful that I'm home with, with my kids. I've got my four-month-old, and I also have these two monsters. I've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and they're home with me all the time, except my daughter, went to, um, she goes to preschool this year twice a week for two hours in the afternoon, so I lose my assistant. So it's actually, I thought it would be easier with only two kids, but it's actually um, harder. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyways, I'm just really glad I get to stay home, and, oh, honey, come here, come here. It's been a dream of mine for my whole life. It's okay. What happened? It's a candy. As I say, sorry to each other, please. Give him a hug. Give him a hug, please. It's been a dream of mine to stay home, even when they're crying like this, because that's what my mom did with my sister and I. And I, I had a full-time job before I got pregnant with my daughter. Um, I was making six figures. I was very successful. I loved what I did. I traveled a lot. It was um, I was very passionate about it. I love math. I was doing a lot of math stuff. Um, it was Office Max Corporate. It had um, I'd been there for actually eight years. Last night when I before I went to bed, I saw um, a post that I did two years ago exactly on October third. And it said that I was getting laid off after eight point something, something, something years at Office Max. And I said like, oh, a lot of people are upset about this. Yes, it's a hard time to get laid off. But I had full faith that um, God was going to be faithful and that he would take care of me. And I didn't know what that looked like at that time. So a little bit of history. I um, worked at Office Max. I got pregnant with um, my daughter. And as soon as I saw her... I knew that I wasn't going back to work. I mean, it's always been my goal. Like everyone, my old bosses could tell you, I wanted to get married, get pregnant, and retire, yeah, aka stay home yeah, with my kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was my dream, and I was determined to make that happen. I'm like, I don't care what order that happens in, it happens in, it's happening, and like, pinch me. Like, it seriously has happened. So I said I wasn't going back to work. So I resigned from Office Max from my high paying job. And mind you, this was like right after my husband yeah. took a sizable pay cut to move closer to where I wanted to, to move where I wanted to be. So my husband is in the education field. He's making really good money up north and I wanted to live towards near Naperville by my job and just where I was used to. So he moved, um, we moved there together and he took a sizable pay cut just to be with me, which I thought was just huge for him to do that and then showed me how much I meant to him and um, just how much he was going to be support me with having the baby and everything. So we, um, I resigned. The person in charge of the department at the time said, you you can't resign. You can't quit. We need you. I had a very, I had the largest account in the department and um, it was kind of a rocky situation what was going on with the company and our department and there was a possible merger going on with Office Depot at the time and they said like, we need you. We need your expertise. We need the relationship you have with the customer. Would you be willing to work part-time from home? And that was very unheard of at the time. Like, I mean, in corporate in general, I think it is, but especially Office Max, I was like, part-time from home? Like, seriously? Like, of course I would. And luckily, my daughter was a very easy baby. So I was able to work home part-time with her and make, um, not the same salary, obviously, but I was making still a good sizable amount and um, stay home with her. And then when she got a little bit older, I had to put her in daycare a little bit because, you know, nobody, every mom knows that you cannot work at home with a toddler. You can't open up a laptop and, and compose an email or do anything because they're just like all over the place. So I did have to get daycare. And then I quickly became pregnant with my son. <laughs> when I was nine months pregnant, with, or nine, when my daughter was nine months. So I had him and I was still working from home and I had my in-laws and my mom and dad coming over like once a week just so I can get work done and didn't have the kids in daycare just because of financial reasons at that time. 
and I had my son, and then shortly after that, I, um, I went to a class and learned about essential oils, and I ended up trying some for my daughter, um, for a runny nose, for myself, for energy, and um, my husband with um, just not feeling well. And I was like desperate at that time to do something other than like, um, there, there's not many o OTC options for little kids. And I was home with the kids. I was still working. I was trying to like be the best mom that I could. And my, my pediatrician was like, oh, give her, um, like for a cough, give her, um, what was that, maple syrup or honey on a spoon in the middle of the night. And I'm like, what? Like I'm not giving my kids sugar in the middle of the night. So I tried Young Living Essential Oils and they were working. And I was like super impressed. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this premium starter kit for my kids. Like that was my main goal at the time. Oh, Tessa, no, sweetie. And then for my energy, because I was nursing two little kids under two years old. I mean, it was just exhausting. So naturally, I shared about the oils on Facebook, just like I would anything else, like um, like I would like a restaurant or um, HelloFresh, like my new that and like Blue Apron, the stuff that I love. And my friends and family were like, what is this? And like, I had a lot of new mommy friends at that point, like young mommy <laughs> friends, and they were very interested. So I was just telling them about it. And it naturally just turned into, hey, I'm going to do the business side of this. I'm going to help my friends and family with their kids, with their other ailments, just like I was helping my own family. And if I can make some kind of financial benefit from it, then, you know, that's all the better. Um, I obviously wasn't in it for the money. I was fine. I'm not that type of person. I just, I love helping people. My motto, my life motto is love everyone. So that's what I, that's what I was going by. And it was just, and just talking to the people on my team, this is a big thing too that really helped me. Like as moms, we know that it's very busy. It's very loud, but it can also be very lonely and very silent. So there could be screaming babies at home, fighting toddlers, laughing toddlers, and but you have this silence because you're not talking to grown-ups during the day, or maybe you are, but you're just talking about baby stuff, which is super awesome to have a support group like that. But what the other thing that the oils brought me that I didn't have was this sense of community with other women. And I talk to my friend Tracy about this all the time. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Young, what Young Living does as a company, and then with our support team, with the essential oils, like with Young Living, yeah, it's all on Facebook, and it's it's hard to get out of the house with the kids these days. I mean, it really is. With three of them, it's, it's difficult. But to have that online support and community, not only for my business, but, like, just, just to, like, build you up, self-esteem, helping each other, helping each other's families and friends with things like, I mean, everything. I know it's crazy. Like, everyone says, like, there's crazy oil ladies, and there's oil for everything, but there really is. Hey, no, 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 careful, honey. But... Like, I'm, I was using oil for um, my cholesterol. My husband uses it for pain all the time. My anxiety, my stress as a mom, like, we use it for everything. So, like, I'm helping. I have this big community on Facebook. I've got 3,800 people-ish under me right now that I would have never known otherwise. And there's this online presence and that, like, keeps my mind busy during the day. You guys. Oh, no, Tessa, no, no, don't scratch, sweetie. Come here, Lincoln, come here. They're just fighting over who's sitting on the couch, of course. But anyways, it's just giving me something, it gives me a piece of myself back because, oh, wait, so hey, rewind, rewind. So I had my son, I started with the oils. Come here, pumpkin, come here. Come here. And then I got laid off a couple months later, and I got laid off, and our family took another financial hit. But I still, I had unemployment, and I had some income from the oils. The oils were growing really, really big. And when I first started, the reason that I started doing the business side of it is because um, my enroller had t showed me her paycheck for one month. Her paycheck for one month, when she had been doing it for only five months at that time, was higher than what I would make in one whole year selling um, the 31 bags that I was doing previously. And 31 was great. I love the bags. I still use them. I've got a great wrap right now. But the group that I was in, or I don't even know if it's a group because I wasn't in a group. Um, I had signed up under a family member and she was supported, like super awesome, but it wasn't a big community. It wasn't, there wasn't, um, a lot of tools and support and all the stuff online that I'm experiencing with, experiencing with Young Living. There's a huge support group 
Um, I've got a business group now. We've got chat groups. We've got tons of people that are helping out, and it's just, and it's not just in it for financial gain. There's, I'm helping people on my sidelines. They're helping me all the time. Like, there's no benefit from either one of us helping each other, and we're doing it because, just because we love helping people. So that's really helped. Um, so, anyways, I got laid off. That was in October, October 3rd, actually, of 2014. By January, I had gotten cut off from unemployment because my um, paychecks from Young Living had gotten so big. And I, the whole time, I'm just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, like, this is totally God. Like, he, he's taking care of me. I can't believe this is happening. I'm staying home with my kids. We're, we did accumulate debt. I'm not going to lie. We accumulated thousands of dollars of debt um, because when I got cut off from unemployment, I still had the oils, but my our total household income just kept getting lower and lower but then eventually with the oils i was able to hit um i hit three big ranks silver and gold um in 2014 and then early 2015 and then it wasn't until um december of 2015 when i hit platinum and we were able to pay off thousands of dollars of credit card debt that we had accumulated and I have a video doing the happy dance at like 11:45 p.m. on New Year's Eve 2015 singing we're going to Disney because that was my goal and it's just crazy because when I got laid off and when we had this whole thing with like we have the kids we don't know what we're doing my husband got a, you know has a pay cut and then all the debt, like, we're like, okay, how are we going to get out of this? We need to be faith, like God's faithful. We know this is, we're going to come out of this, but how is this going to happen? When is it going to happen? I thought it was going to be so many years in Disney. Like when I started the business, that was my goal. It was, I want to continue to live debt free. That's how my dad taught me to live. And besides like my house and my car and stuff, but um, I don't want to have credit card debt. And my goal was to take my children to Disney world. And I thought that would happen when they were like well into grade school we booked Disney this year and we're going within a couple months. Like we're, we're going to Disney World when my kids are little and when I'm going to see like the pure, pure excitement on their face. And I'm so thankful because I couldn't do that without Young Living. Like to know that I had this long-term goal, this is my long-term goal to do Disney World and it's happening in less than two and a half years of starting the business with the oils. Like pinch me, like is this real life? It's just ridiculous. And now it's it's challenged me to think like, Okay, if I'm hitting, if I'm doing this right now, what's my what's my real long term goal? Like I have to start thinking outside of my family. Okay, sorry, my phone memory died, and then my baby woke up, and I'm I'm nursing her right now. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's been six long weeks of pumping and bottling, and she's finally nursing. Anyways, um, I'm starting to think bigger. Like what what else can I do? to help other people with what I'm going to be earning with Young Living because I'm almost back to my highest corporate salary. I will hit that by the end of the year. I will. And I'm going to keep growing. Just one more minute, sweet pea, okay? And then, um, I mean, I've got goals for like our kids' college and all that, but what about besides that? And there was something that spoke to me at church um, a couple weeks after my daughter was born, and they were talking about um, just the value of life and pro-life and helping mothers in desperate situations. I, I really felt like that was my calling just to help save babies. Oh no, Tessa, sweetie, let him finish, okay? Okay, let him finish, sorry. Um, and that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I need to figure out what exactly it is, but that's what my passion's gonna be with, with this money is helping other people and specifically mothers in desperate situations um, who are pregnant. So, so that's that. And I'm just, the other thing too, my husband, I hope he doesn't mind that I'm sharing this, but he recently took another big pay cut on purpose to um, do a job that he loves very close to home. And he's able to come home in the morning for, um, it's like 1030 for his lunch break. And we're, we're huge, huge, like family, family, like old school. Like we love to be together. We always go everywhere together. Like my husband's super involved, super hands on with the kids, loves everything about just being together. So when he took this job, he could have had one that was a little farther away with a lot more money and a higher position, but he wanted to do what he loves in education with being with the kids. And he's got a challenging year this year and I commend him for that. I don't know how he's doing it. He has a lot of patience, um, but he's doing amazing things and he's home. 
he's home at three o'clock every day, like 3.07. If he's not home at 3.07, I'm like, where are you? <laughs> but like, he's amazing because he'll come home at 10.30 on lunch just to be with us. Even though like half the time I'm throwing a, a screaming baby at him or I have a to-do list, like you need to put batteries in the swing, you need to do this. You need, and it's just like th the fact that he's able to do that, to take a lower job or paying job to do what he loves and to be with our family because my income now is making up for it after only doing this for two and a half years, like... God is so good. Like we're just, we're so blessed. And I mean, this whole video, it spun into this whole young living thing, but like the, my baby nursing right now, like that's, I feel like it all ties into that. And hold on, I'll do another video because I need to help her. <laughs> and here she is, fat and happy. Anyways, um, so like I know that stay-at-home moms get a bad rep sometimes or even just network marketing because you just think like, oh, they're trying to sell, sell, sell. And that's what I love about what I'm doing is I'm not being salesy. I'm not, I don't have to go push product anywhere. I'm just sharing what I love. So for all you stay-at-home moms out there who are struggling day-to-day, -day, who are just buried in, I don't know how to turn this around, so I'm just going to do this, who are buried in messes like that, like there's the toys that the kids just decide to pull out and throw up or throw all over the floor. The data storage struggle is so real. <laughs> Anyways, I'll wrap this up. Um, just... Remember that you don't have to be alone. If you're doing something and you're you're loving a product and you're sharing it and you have a great support group of women like and you're doing this just because you're going to do it anyway. You're going to you're going to buy the product, you're going to use the product because it's helping you with it's helping you and your family with stuff and you happen to be um, generating income too that is just growing and helping you. Maybe you're even starting small and you're just like paying off a grocery bill or you're um, you're just paying for your product every month, whatever it is, like that's awesome. And when you get to the point, if you keep at it and you're passionate about it and you have a great support group and you get to the point where you're making, you know, almost as much as you could at a corporate job and higher because you will and I will, like I'm going to, I'm almost at my corporate salary. Like you're, you're doing amazing things for your family and you're, you're a good example to your children to be hard work, to be um, hardworking, to be passionate about what you love and you're a great mom. So just embrace what you're doing. Don't let anyone else um, take you down about that. I know there's there's several women that don't want to be home with their kids and they don't, whatever. And that's totally fine. I get it. Like, I mean, th it's crazy around here. You can go nuts. So do something for yourself if you're home with your kids, whether that is going for a jog. I just started jogging and listening to um, Becky Thompson's Hope Unfolding book. It does so much, like amazing wonders for my soul. Um, if it's a network marketing business, if it's a hobby, whatever it is, you guys just do something great. There's Tessa. This is my oldest. And and she's not feeling that well today. What do we put on your nose? Lavender. Lavender. So and I'm just so happy. My baby's nursing. Everything's falling into place in my life. And two years ago, I never would have thought, <laughs> you're silly, never would have thought any of this. Come here, Lincoln, get in. And we're just, I'm just grateful and I wanted to share my story with everybody. Say hi, guys. And where are you going? Where are you going for Thanksgiving? Disney World. Disney World, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, we're super excited. So, And thank you to everyone on my um, oily team who's watching this. You guys are amazing, and I just love the support we give each other and everything you guys have given me, the confidence and to keep going as a mother and to help my family and help other people. So, <laughs> thank you. I actually have one more thing I wanted to say directly because I don't know if you picked it up from my video, my other videos, all my videos. But I felt like when I had my kids, I lost myself in a sense. I used to be, I feel important, I used to feel really important at work and loved what I did. And now I love what I do, but I have lost, I mean, I'm super important to these three kids, but I felt kind of like the rest of the world. Um, like I didn't really matter that much. And I just wanted to say that. Like now, with what I'm doing with Young Living and this awesome support group, like I just, I feel important again. I feel like people are listening. I feel like I'm accomplishing something and it's just giving me that confidence as a, as a mother, but I'm also, I'm still a friend. I'm a leader. I'm um, a mentor. I'm a student. I'm learning from lots of people like my friend Amber and I'm just, I have those relationships again that I kind of lost when I became a mommy and, and that's really fulfilled me and given me something that I, I had lost and, and now I found, <laughs> so that was cheesy, but it's the truth. So I just, I hope that point got across because it's, it's just given me so much more um, in my heart and with relationships that I, um, that I'd kind of lost.